This video is on malpresentation. The definition of malpresentation is the presence of any presenting part other than the vertex, or also known as other than the cephalic presentation. Bridge presentation is the most common malpresentation, and it happens in 3 to 4% of term pregnancies, term which means 37 weeks of gestation. So, it becomes a problem if the baby is not in cephalic presentation, which means the head is at below part, by 37 weeks. There are different types of bridge presentation. The first one is flex or complete bridge, where the hip and knee of the baby is flex. And the presenting part is the external genitals, buttocks or feet. The second one is extended or frank bridge. This one is the most common type of bridge, where the hip is flex but the knee is extended. And this one is also the least likely bridge to cause cord prolapse. Third one is the least common type of bridge, the foot footling bridge. The hips and knee are extended and the presenting part is the feet. So you can see here in this picture, there is a fit as the presenting part. And this one is more common to have cord prolapse as a complication. The causes of bridge presentation are for maternal, if there are presence of fibroids in the uterus, or any congenital uterine abnormalities like biconvert or septet uterus, or any previous surgery done on the uterus, like myomectomy. For fetus, if there is multiple gestation, it might cause bridge presentation. And also prematurity, placenta previa, anencephaly or hydrocephalus, fetal neuromuscular condition, or any abnormalities of the liquid volume, oligo or polyhydramnios. For investigations of bridge presentation, we can do abdominal examination. So if the baby is bridge, on abdominal examination, there will be a firm lower pole. And we can feel the hard, round and bellotable head at the fundus. The fetal heart is best heard above the umbilicus. And for vaginal examination, we can feel a soft buttock or anus and also heart irregular sacrum. The feet may be in the pelvic part as the leading part. For ultrasound scan, we can confirm the bridge presentation and also look at the amniotic fluid index, look at the placenta site to rule out placenta previa, and also assess the estimated fetal weight. Moving on to management, first we will confirm the gestation. Weak. And second, if the bridge is clinically suspe suspected after 36 weeks, we confirm by doing the ultrasound scan. So on ultrasound scan, we can confirm the bridge presentation and also look at the type of the bridge presentation. We can also assess the amniotic fluid index, placenta location, any fetal anomalies, and any pelvic tumor. So whereas for the mode of delivery, First, we can either do external cephalic version on the 37 week of period of gestation, or we can do elective caesarean section, which is normally done at the 39 week. And the third mode of delivery of choice is vaginal bridge delivery. This is only done if there is only one previous LSCS scar on the mother. So if there are two or more LSCS scars, we don't usually do vagina bridge delivery anymore. So that's all for this video.